Right, good day everyone. Um, so I'm going to start off with carrying on with my tutorial video for today. Um, I just thought I'd start off outside, it's a rainy day. Um, we're getting some great rain. Uh, you can see the sun, I don't know if you can really see the rain. Um, all around you can see the lovely rain we're getting. Um, a lot of people are thankful for this, we haven't had a bit of rain for a while and it's been raining for a few days now, I think two or three days now. And um, there's a pot, pot of flooding in some of the, the province and some of the city. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd start off outside and then, you know, we can walk back into the workshop. All right. Then, um, while we're outside, I thought I'd give a bit of a shout out to my my workshop assistants. Here we go. All right. It's my workshop assistant number one. This is Thor. This is my other workshop assistant. This is Paige. Show my dogs. Come up, you on the rock. Come up. Right, there's my two assistants. They help me out in the workshop from time to time. Crazy dogs. Sure, all right. Um, so yeah, let's get this day started. And yeah, let's see what we can do today. See you soon. All right, so carrying on where we left off where my pipe is gonna work, I'm gonna drill out the holes now. Um, when drilling, especially steel, I suggest you use a, a cutting fluid or oil to assist with the drill. A, just help prolong your drill bits. Still, it's are expensive. Um, I don't prefer drilling. Um, if you have a punch, I suggest getting yourself a metal punch. Not everyone has one. It's very difficult to get a hold of. And actually, in America, um, they sell them quite uh, quite openly there. I suggest they make called Roper Whiteley. Um, that make very good punches. I had to import that one from. Uh, I had to import this one from America as well, but a knockoff. And the reason for that is obviously a drill leaves a burr, right? And obviously drill bits are expensive and the drill leaves a burr. And it's a bit of a messier um, hole making procedure in total. So I do suggest that, otherwise keeping with the drill. Um, also one thing for those who don't know how to use a drill, um, or do, but aren't familiar with cutting into drilling into metal, I suggest don't go full speed into it, otherwise you're going to burn your drill bits up. And the go through you're going to snag drill bits. Just you know, ever so slightly, just run it on the on the low setting if you can set it. Otherwise, speed control with your fingers. Try and set it. You know that it runs slow. Just so you're cutting into it, and then it gets a nice um, chip formation or cut into it. And then you know you save your drill bits. And um, again, like I suggested, use it well. So I'm going to finish up with this now. I'm going to drill all the holes, and then um, we'll carry on from there. Okay, um, now obviously all those holes are drilled out, I suggest giving a file just to remove the burr on that side. Um, be careful, don't run your fingers over that burr, um, it can cut you. Um, so I suggest filing it off, getting it smooth, um, so we can get rid of that burr. All right. Okay, so now what I do to hold my stuff together while I'm working on it is screws. Um, all my holes that I drilled out are a 4 mil hole, um, 4 mils, and my screws, I use a 4 mil screw. Um, length doesn't really matter, I get short ones, long ones, depending on how many plates I'm putting together. And um, just do mock it all up together to hold it together to see how the fit is and if I need to make any changes. Um, I know some people use rivets, a pop rivet. I uh, don't suggest because you have to draw them out, although they do give you a very similar fit to if you're going to use a pin rivet. I suggest using screws for now because you're a good enough fit. I've always used them, it works well for me. I, um, I know you get a special kind of rivet, I've seen a few armors use it. Um, it's not a rivet, I'm not too sure exactly, it's a fastener sort that you clip on and it tight, holds on tightly and you can obviously reuse them, uh, just you know, deconnect them and so on. I haven't seen them here in South Africa, so um, I, I don't use them, uh, I use screws. Um, I go through a lot of them, they're relatively inexpensive, and um, you know, you, know they, you can find them everywhere. So I, I stick with this, this gives me a great um, mock-up way to mock it up. All right, so we're gonna do that now. OK, 
Okay, so now you can see the kettle hums sort of matched up now. Um, the helmet, the brim fits very nicely. There's obviously a seam, but there's going to be a central seam that goes over there that I'm going to still do the pattern for. So I'm going to make sure everything else fits so nicely. So there it is from the sides, from the base. Now I can see a good fit up. One thing I can see now, my holes don't line up 100% um, from the brim and that base, but that's easy to fix. Because um, you can see, obviously, if I try to put a screw here, see that one fits nicely. I'm going to go to this side here. See that one's a bit off, it's about a millimeter off. And then we've got an overhang. Alright, so now those holes that don't fit nicely, what I would suggest is just drill it through, just open the hole a little bit with the drill as you go through them. Um, I find this often, if anyone, you know, if there's other armors watching me, you can suggest way, but I just find that, you know, if you're making stuff by hand, matching up two holes, it's never going to be perfect. Um, I've seen lots of examples of historical pieces where there was a hole that was put in the wrong spot and they've had to close the hole up. Um, obviously, they didn't have wilding kits, so they're closing the hole up they involved uh, a walking hammer, which I might give a demonstration on um, sometime. If someone wants to see that, um, please go ahead and ask if you want to see that. Um, if you want to close up, closing up a hole with the ball pin. But yeah, um, I just use a drill, open up the hole a bit. It's a very small gap. Um, I'm just either making the one hole uh, elongated by a millimeter or so. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that now so I can get a nice fit up of this.